Hello everybody, my name is Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a few suggestions on what you could draw if you don't know what to draw or you're unmotivated or just any situation. The first thing you could draw is eyes. I feel like eyes are really important to draw. They're basically the main feature you see. And um, in sketchbooks, they can look really nice if done well. Well, I never realized how much I said would really. <laughs> um, as you can see, what I'm drawing now, I'm just drawing eyes. They're hard. Really hard. Another thing you could also practice is anatomy. No matter how good you are at it, is really good to practice. It doesn't even have to be very hard poses, it could be simple, it could be just any type of anatomy. Even animal anatomy. Anatomy of all types will be good to practice. The next one, scenery. Just draw a whole bunch of trees, flowers, grass, roads, paddocks. Anything. Because scenery and nature stuff is really important to learn how to draw. Most of these comes in twos, so another one is perspective. There's no point knowing how to draw a tree if you don't know perspective. Another one, buildings. You might want to draw a house with a tree in front, but you're going to need to know perspective or you're going to have a cube with a triangle on it. Not really p a pleasing, but yeah. So scenery, perspective and buildings all work in one. Okay, so we're done with all the practical ones. Let's get into the fun ones. There are several random generating websites where you just press a button and it'll come up with a prompt. You could try doing one of those. If it's a prompt you don't like, try it anyway. You might be surprised of how it turns out. I've used them several times. Sometimes I didn't like the prompt, but I enjoyed how it turned out. So it was all good in the end. You could also try the squiggle challenge. What's a squiggle challenge, may I ask? Placing them on YouTube. You Grab a marker or a pencil or whatever. Do a quick squiggle on the page and make an illustration with it. I've seen several YouTubers do them. I personally haven't done them because I just haven't. But yeah, it'd be, it's always interesting to see what happens in the end. Okay, so another one is Fairy Colour Challenge. Some people draw the image first, but if you don't know what to draw, then what's the point? Just go to your pencil collection, marker collection, watercolour collection, close your eyes, pick up three, draw something. It's that simple. Okay, so this will probably be my last point, but it's the Draw This Again Challenge. I suggest you find an old, cringy piece of artwork that you really do not like and draw it again. Probably don't do one from when you were five, but do one from really early on in your art career. And you're probably saying, but I'm a new artist. Grab someone else's artwork and draw that in your current style. Don't have a style? Just redraw it. Just, if it's someone else's, Either just don't post it or give credits. Anyway, I hope you've liked this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do whatever. Please leave a nice comment. Tell me what you'll like in the next video. Until next time, I'm Erin M. And bye.